today's video, I'm back with DIY school supplies. Not just any DIY school supplies, though, like the cutest DIY school supplies ever. Hopefully you guys agree. Otherwise, this is awkward. And I also just feel like school supplies are super expensive, so you may as well just like buy the cheap stuff and then make it cute. Like I bought this backpack that I DIY'd for like, I think it was like $10 off Amazon, so that was a good time. Hopefully you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up if you guys like it. This is like a half thumb. Give it a thumbs up if you guys like DIY school supplies or any kind of DIYs. Also, in the comment section, let me know what year you guys are going into at school. Let me know. Anyways, I hope you guys like the video and if you guys haven't already hit subscribe or hit the post notification bell, hit it. It's a good time. You guys don't want to miss out. I'll also link my back to school playlist down below so you guys can check it out. There may be a giveaway. Just saying. If you guys haven't entered it already, check it out. And let's get into the video. So I wanted to kick off the DIY video with like literally the easiest DIY ever. And I feel like I say this in every single one of my videos, but guys, this one is super easy. So we're just gonna go in with some cute craft paper and also a composition notebook. And then to get a little fancy up in here, I thought it'd also be cute to add in some gold accents. So I'm just going in with some gold sticker letters and gold washi tape. So first thing first, you just wanna size up your piece of craft paper to your composition notebooks. All you guys have to do is just flip your craft paper upside down and just use your composition notebook as like a stencil kind of situation and trace around it and then once you guys have the size you can cut it out with some scissors and then just stick it on to the front cover of your notebook with some glue Moving on, I'm gonna go in with some gold washi tape to cover up the binding. So I know that I've seen a ton of people like cover up the binding of their notebook with washi tape and just throw stickers on it. But I was thinking that it would look extra cute if you like went in with all gold accents or obviously like silver or copper, whatever floats your boat. So I just went and found myself some gold sticker letters and just stuck them on to the front cover of my notebook. I was trying to think of something like real creative to say on the front of my notebook, but you know. We went with Nap Queen because that's pretty accurate. So moving on to DIY number two. So it's a DIY backpack and I'm super excited about it because real backpacks are expensive. So first things first, I'm just taking this white canvas backpack that I got off of Amazon. I'm pretty sure it was only like $10. So I'll link it down below for you guys. And then I'm also taking a bottle of water and some fabric markers. Side note, I'm pretty sure you can do this DIY with Sharpies. So if you guys don't want to splurge on fabric markers, then you guys can just use Sharpies. First things first, you guys just want to go in and cover your whole backpack with some water. You don't want to make it saturated, just damp. And once you've got your backpack all damp, you can start going in with your fabric markers. So you just want to go in with like random splotches. You could use like two colors or three colors, but your girl went in with like the entire rainbow. So yeah, that happened. Also, hi, I don't have a third hand. That is definitely my boyfriend Kane wanting to help. <laughs> you just want to keep coloring in your backpack until it's completely covered and if you feel like your backpack is like drying out and isn't as wet anymore you just want to keep going in and adding a little bit more water and yeah just keep going till you're done and finally once you guys feel like you're done with the fabric marker you just want to go in and add in one last spray of water just to make sure that all the colors like blend together and look super like watercolory and once you guys have sprayed it you can either leave it to air dry or throw it in the dryer like me if you're lazy just realized how much I'm covering all school supplies. We got a notebook, a backpack, and now I'm showing you guys how to make this cute pencil case. So, you know, just trying to have you guys covered. Just looking out for you guys. You guys are just gonna need a plain pencil case. I just got a plain white one, but if you guys can find just a plain one that's any color, that's good too. And I'm also just taking like a bunch of random ribbon. So I just went to the craft store and I got them all cut down. I don't even think I even had like full meters of it. So I think it all added up to be like less than $3. So that was good because we ain't trying to spend a bunch of money. 
Just taking my hot glue stick, I glue stick, my hot glue gun. <laughs> I'm just gonna go in and stick them all on using my hot glue. The easiest way to do it is to just take a long strip of ribbon and just glue it on. Don't cut it down until you finish gluing it. That way you can make sure that you've got enough ribbon to last the whole width of your pencil case. But I just did my own piece by piece and just kept layering on all of my pieces of ribbon. And I also had like pieces of lace because I was kind of going for like a boho blue vibe, I want to say. Comment down below though what your favorite color is. Mine is blue, if you can't tell, but let me know in the comments what your favorite color is. Blue is the best color though. Just saying before you guys comment like pink or something like that, blue is definitely the best color. And yeah, that's basically it for the DIY. Oh my God, there's so many motorbikes going past. Oh my God, shh. <laughs> Which one was your fave DIY? And also like if you guys want to see vlogs and what other kind of videos you guys want to see. Also, what year you guys are in in school? That's like five questions. Like, sorry if you guys are busy today. Hopefully guys are having an awesome day. If you guys haven't already, hit subscribe or hit the post notification bell. Make sure to hit it so you guys don't miss out. And if you guys are bored right now, check out my back to school playlist. It's a good time. I'll have a link below. And if you guys haven't already entered my back to school giveaway, then you can win all of this stuff. All you guys have to do is follow me on my Instagram account. This is it right here. And I'll have the video linked down below so you guys can check it out. Anyways, hopefully you guys are having an awesome day. And I'll see you guys in my next video.